All right, what's up, everybody? We have, first of all, happy 4th of July for those of you that celebrate. Yes, it's people that don't celebrate, but most people <laughs> celebrate the 4th of July. So, uh, and being all-inclusive here, happy 4th if that's your thing, and happy Monday day off of work if it's not. So, with that said, let's get into some deals, Okay. We don't have a whole lot because it's a weird time. You know, everybody had their 4th of July sales and they still, they kind of dwindle, dwindling away. We should see some more deals pop up next week. But I got a couple Ryobi, then the best stuff is coming at the end of the video. We already know, y'all already know that. So let's just get into it. So first up, we have this Ryobi combo kit. It's a reciprocating saw and a circular saw. Six and a half inch circular saw, you know, the reciprocating saw actually has an impressive 3,400 strokes per minute. Usually you see like 3,000 on the higher end models, but it only has a one inch stroke. Uh, you kind of prefer, I know Matabo is a one and a quarter. The longer the stroke, the better the cut. But um, $79 for both. It, this doesn't come with a battery though. But yeah, so, but if you already have some Ryobi tools, I mean, there's been times in the past where I've gone out and bought little things like this just to get a job done real quick. So, I mean, $79. Hey, hey, I ain't mad at you if it was a very sparingly used. Now we have a, a very similar deal. doesn't come with a bag. This one also doesn't come with a, a battery or a charge. So moving on, we have something very similar. Another reciprocating saw. Very different looking from the last with the same one inch stroke. Uh, and you have an oscillating tool and it's $69. So, you know, again, you know, it doesn't say what the strokes per minute is on this one. No, 3,400. It's the same specs. They just look very different. But $69 for those two. All right. So you had that as well. And finally, also an oscillating tool and an orbital sander for $59. Again, I've never used any of these tools. I've seen some real deal woodworkers use the Ryobi. They didn't like go out and use it. They, it was given to them, uh, you know, and it works. So there you go. If you have any woodworking projects around the house, you just, and you dabbling, like you're first starting off, get these. Don't spend the money on the Milwaukee's and the Makita's or the Matabo's. Don't do any of that stuff with the Dewalt's. Just start with Ryobi and get your feet wet and if you like it then you can upgrade to the stuff later because for these prices i mean this is a great price to you know great entry price into woodworking and then later on you could just sell these because ryobi for some reason holds its value whatever moving on we have the same rigid deal just one is a half inch and the other is a three it's almost like a quarter inch it's so different look <laughs> look at the difference in pictures but uh same tool different uh sizes three eighths and then you have your one half your one half is 89 dollars and then your three eighths is 79 these are impact wrenches not impact drivers and they have 225 foot pounds of breakaway torque that is the same as the milwaukee stubby but these have uh, the lifetime service agreement once you register it they are also brushless tool only but um they're super compact i was trying to look up the measurements oh there we go 4.31 inches that's super super small for an impact wrench so first of all i want to say my bad it's not the same as the stubby the stubby does 250 foot pounds of breakaway and the stubby is 4.8 inches uh, so the rigid is a lot smaller it's a half inch smaller i, I mean you can look at it and see it's super compact uh lifetime warranty you know very similar power and uh there you go so I don't think that's bad for $79. Uh, the stubby is going to cost you an <laughs> extra $100. So, yeah, that's definitely, to me, a good deal. If you could pull that power out of it, I would highly recommend uh, getting the high-output batteries, though, if you want to see that full 225. Now, moving on to a Milwaukee deal here. This is normally just $299 at Home Depot, and it's currently sold out. Now, this is an excellent kit for, like, a plumber. So you get your, or electrician or something like that, or HVAC. Uh, so you get your bag. You have an, um, the M12 fuel impact driver. So this produces 1,300 inch-pounds of torque. 
you have this little hacksaw or this one-handed reciprocating saw with a paltry 0.625 inch stroke uh, but it's excellent for like electrician plumbers. It's excellent for that work though. Uh, it's going to cut pipes perfectly. You get a four amp hour battery and a two amp hour battery. Let's make sure though. Let's make sure I'm, I'm correct about those batteries. Yeah, four amp hour battery, two amp hour battery, 179. Great deal there. This impact driver is being replaced with a newer model soon. Um, they're going to cost a little bit more. I did see the prices on them earlier today. I'll talk about that in another video though. So, yep, not a bad deal. When you come down here and you look at the brushless model, I mean, excuse me, the brushed version uh, of the impact driver hacksaw. And this is a good combo. I don't know, we don't see more of these kits, a hacksaw and an impact driver. That's actually more, I mean, that's actually better than having the drill and, and impact, especially if you do like HVAC work or electrician or something like that. But uh, anyway, so this is $199 and this is brushed with two, I don't even know if these are 2.0 batteries, but there's definitely no 4 amp hour battery there. So there you go. You have your charger and all that. 179. Good deal. Uh, what is this Amazon stuff? Oh, okay. So now we're getting into Metabo stuff. And I, I, I might, I'm trying to, I'm going to try to move through this. But first of all, I did find specs on this. So this produces 440 inch pounds of torque. Okay. And it's and this is this a quick release, it's a quick exchange. So it's basically a 18 volt three in one, eighty nine dollars. All right. So the 12 volt version is fifty nine ninety five, but it produces I think three hundred and forty two or around three hundred fifty inch pounds of torque. Best in class as far as power goes. And I believe in that old in the 12 volt is definitely brushed. I don't know if this is brushed or not. It has an L. Usually, B it'll say BL for brushless. I don't know what L means. I, I'm, I don't know. I can't, like I said, I can't find this on Metabo's website at all. It's a weird deal, weird tool. But it's only eighty nine dollars. Definitely a good deal. And it's if you buy from uh, Amazon, the, the shipping is cheaper. It's only three ninety nine. Still from Ohio Power Tool though, <laughs> but it's it's only three ninety nine for the shipping. So I recommend. You buying it from Amazon, link will be in the description. Now, uh, moving on to the final deal that just, it has me so tempted. I wish I didn't have this hammer drill because I would have bought it before I even made this video. So I've been trying to look for the brushless version of the Metabo impact driver to compare it apples to apples straight up with the Milwaukee M12. Obviously the old one because the new one is more powerful now. Um, but this is an older tool. So this is this and the uh, old M12 are about, I mean, it's pretty much apples to apples. It has a three-speed setting. This is brushless. But this was just so expensive. As we see here, the thing, I mean, with the kit, uh, you know, it's 249 for the thing. I, I wasn't paying that. And I could only find it in the kit form. Uh, but I also found it in this kit too. But for some reason, I added it to the, uh, I added to my car on Acme Tools to see how much the price was. I didn't even talk to you guys about it because it was so reckless. But that price has changed. I found this totally on accident today. So you get two four amp hour batteries, and these are the high output batteries charger, hard case, the, uh, the, the 12 volt hammer drill, and the 12 volt impact driver, They're both brushless, $149.91. Okay. Now, if I didn't have this hammer drill already, I'd have bought this kit. I still might buy it because it's it's basically you getting this for free, for real. Like they're paying you basically to take this because this uh, impact driver alone is expensive. But I want to compare. I really do. I wish they just send me tools, but I don't, I don't have enough. <laughs> That's why I asked y'all to, to subscribe so <laughs> so I could try some of this stuff for free because I pay for all this stuff. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, Vince over at VCG Construction. Back in the day, and I say back in the day, it was like three years ago, used to be like a big advocate for Metabo tools. I don't know what happened. It, it seemed like once uh, Hitachi uh, bought them out and Hitachi changed its name to Metabo HPT, he stopped making videos about it and was more so focused on Milwaukee. I understand because Milwaukee videos do the best, hands down. Um, so that could be why. But... He used to have videos of Metabo tools spanking all the other ones, okay? And I just wanted to bring this up because I came across it last night. 
the fact that he used to do this. And I, I mentioned in my last video about it, how I said that the Matabo is smooth. And when you read in the uh, comments, and, and one of you said like, hey, you know what? That's a good, great way to describe the tool. It is smooth. Like that is a, so they're smooth, they're quiet, there's no vibration. And that is why we automatically feel like they're underpowered. But there are tons of videos out on the internet, not tons, but there are some out there. When you find them comparing to other tools, they smoke them. Like they, the Metabos are better. I mean, we're not talking about Metabo HPT. Those are they're two completely different brands. We're talking about green and red Metabo, German Metabo, which is most of their tools are made in China now, but uh, since that takeover. But and maybe that's why it changed. But the tools are still very good. This drill in particular that he's using was made in Germany. And just like cars, you know, I have a Volkswagen, Phaeton, and it's W12, and that bad boy right there, I mean, it's smooth, it's quieter than my Dodge Magnum with the Hemi in it, and it'll smoke that Magnum all day, it's just I don't notice it. So the smoothness, and all that, let, me just, let me just read through the comments. So you read here, this person said, just got my top of standard drill on sale, it's so smooth and quiet, has good solid weight feel. Like I said the same thing. I used a Metabo 18 volt hammer drill the other day for the first time. I really liked how smooth it felt. Again, yes, <laughs> they're smooth. Look, uh, I do welding for cages, but after I use Metabo drill for cages, it's worked for me better, to be honest. I have Metabo drill and it's worked for me so smooth. I love it. it exactly. That does. Everyone's using the same word. And this is these eight months, a year old, these comments. Um, so. I'm thinking, I said it was underpowered, but I'm thinking maybe just like in line with German cars, it could be because, and I'll just kind of play this, and I'll put the volume down so you guys can just watch this DeWalt XR get spanked. But um, it could be just like with German cars. You know, they're smooth, they're quiet, there's no vibration, there's no sound, but it's going to just spank, you know, almost anything out there on in the streets, okay? So you saw that he stopped, looked, started over, and it still be the wall. I mean, I mean, <laughs> the wall got spanked. Uh, so anyway, I just say all that to say I think maybe it's not so underpowered. It just feels like it because it's so smooth and quiet and all that. So maybe I need to go ahead and get this so I can compare it for real because the Milwaukee stuff is loud. It it sounds strong. It is strong and it sounds like it. This sounds weak. But it's actually real strong. So anyway, I also leave this a link to this video as well, where they compare all the hammer drills, uh, and you know, definitely worth a watch there because they literally compare every hammer drill that's name brand in the world. And uh, this is ranked from top to bottom. AG is basically rigid. Hitachi, we know that's I mean Hakoki, that's Hitachi, which is Metabo HBT. Milwaukee, DeWalt, and this is from worst, to, this over here is the best to worst, okay? Um, but they'll tell you, depending, depending on your use case, it'll change some things around. The, the, depending on what you're using for the DeWalt to be higher up, or the Makita might be first. But Metabo still for a top three. Look, the old Metabo, I think the new Metabo is number one. Then you have a Hilti, and the old Metabo is number three, beating out all the other ones. Festool is in the middle. Anyway, that's it for today, y'all. Bye. <laughs>